how my hair looks all 50 shades of fucked up today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today with a tutorial for the look on my face right now. Please excuse my brows. My brow guy is currently back in Florida for the next few days. He actually gets back on the 8th, which is the day I leave for Florida. So I'm contemplating whether or not I should go see his co-workers at the same salon he works at, or just wait till I get to Florida and go to my OG brow lady, which I'm thinking it might just do. So my brows might look a little bit weird over the next few days. Maybe I might just get it done, you know? I might just bite the bullet and go do it, because they need to get done, girl. They look crazy. So I'm using the ColourPop Pressed Powder Eyeshadows for the first time, and I have to say, I am super, super impressed with how good these actually are. I know they've gotten a lot of mixed reviews, but these eyeshadows are honestly outstanding in quality. I'm also using a Super Shock eyeshadow in the shade Cheap Date, which is a light goldish shade. I absolutely love this one. If you guys like the look, go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you're not already. If you have any questions about anything, leave those down below, but I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye. Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. So the first thing we're gonna do is apply a piece of tape to both of the eyes and then we're gonna lay down our base and then set it with a translucent powder. And then we're gonna go into this like mid-tone-ish brownish tannish shade and that's gonna be our first transition shade all over the crease and lid area. And then we're going to go into the ColourPop Pressed Powder Eyeshadows. We're picking up the shade Top Notch. Here's a swatch. Beautifully pigmented. And we're going to put that into the outside corner. And then also blend whatever's left on the brush into the crease. Just want to let you guys know also to have an extra brush that is clean on the side. Just because you're going to be blending a lot with this look. And then we're going to pick up the ColourPop Super Shock Eyeshadow in the shade Cheap Date and apply that all over the lid. And then we're going to go back into the Top Notch shade and blend that into the outside corner just to start the deepening process for the outside corner. So, like with all technology, sometimes we had some problems with some of the clips, so I had to omit some of the clips because they were corrupted. So, I did skip a couple steps. You're going to see right here, I have more of a red tone shade in the crease and the outside corner. All I did was take the shade Stay Golden and apply that to the outside corner and then blend it into the crease. And now I'm taking just any matte black shade you have in your collection and applying that to the outside corner to further deepen out the look. All right, so I'm just taking a clean blending brush and blending everything together so it looks seamless. So after everything's blended, I went ahead and did my winged liner off camera, and I was going to leave my natural lashes like you see it right here, but we need some drama with this look, so we're going to put some falsies on. And if you're wondering what the lashes I'm wearing, I'm wearing the Broadway lashes in Starlight. You can get them at the dollar store for like two bucks. They're amazing and very wispy and beautiful. So now I'm taking Top Notch and Stay Golden and bringing that to the bottom lash line, smudging that in with a black cream liner and we're going to take the shade cheap date and put that on the inner corner of the bottom lash line just to bring some gold into the bottom lash line And once you're done with that, all I did was apply some of the Pasadena Lippy from Ofra on my lips and did my highlighter off camera as well as my brows. But with that being said, guys, we're all done here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like and subscribe if you're not already. But I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.